Hi, my name is Ruman Khan. In this video, I'll be showing how to add a rate limiting policy in MuleSoft API Manager. I'm currently logged in into MuleSoft API Manager and I already have an API Manager setup configured to point to this particular URI. As you see, there are no policies configured to this particular endpoint. Now let's go ahead and apply a new policy. Select rate limiting, configure policy. Using rate limiting policy, you can limit number of requests per time period for this particular API. So I'll configure the policy to limit number of requests as three in a time period of 30 seconds and apply this policy. So once this policy is applied, it would limit three requests per 30 seconds. So if, if I hit a fourth request within the 30 seconds, I would get a API calls exceeded error. Now let's go back to our browser and test the same thing. I'll hit my request once, twice, thrice, and I get API calls exceeded on the fourth request. Now let's check the same thing in Postman to see what kind of headers we receive. I'm in Postman and I have my URI here with a get request. I'll say send. Looking at the headers, we can see there is a X rate limit as three, which is showing the maximum requests allowed and rate limit remaining, which is showing number of remaining requests and the rate limit reset, which shows like how many seconds do we have to wait for this number to be reset. Now let's hit it again. So now you can see the remaining uh, reduced to one and with a 19 seconds of reset. Now remaining zero with a 10 second of reset. Now if I hit it, I'll get API calls exceeded. So you can see the body API calls exceeded with a status code as 429, too many requests. And if I waited 844 milliseconds, I would have not got this error. So you can see the rate limit remaining is zero and rate limit remains three and the reset as 844 milliseconds. Coming back to the API manager, let's see one more policy throttling. So as you see in the description, it says throttles the number of messages per time period processed by an API and queues any messages beyond the maximum for later processing. So in throttling policy, you have an option to queue your request before giving up, but in rate limiting, you don't have that. So that's a difference between rate limiting and throttling policy. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.